In this video, I'm going to be revealing the locations of 11 Earth portals to higher dimensions. Throughout time, many ancient civilizations have suggested the existence of secret portals to other dimensions and star systems. These are said to be the home of our creators. But is there any truth behind these myths? Well, today we're starting to find out that secret files in the FBI and even NASA are revealing that actually there is some truth in all of this. In 2015, NASA admitted that they've been studying the Earth's energy portals for decades. They're said to be able to transport us across time and space in the blink of an eye. In fact, they've now accrued enough data to confirm that these energy portals exist in numerous different locations across the planet. Interestingly, these X points are found where the distant geomagnetic field interacts with the passing solar wind, which forms a clear channel between the Earth and the Sun. So here is a list of 11 powerful energy portals on this planet. First of all, I'm going to take you to Arizona and the Sedona vortexes and the doorway of the gods. Sedona is a small town in Arizona and the Native American Indian tribes used to call it Nawanda. Now surrounding this small town was some amazingly spiritually charged red rocks of the deserts and it was believed that these could transport people from one place to another in the flash of an eye. They were actually portals to different dimensions of reality. Also, hidden in the mountains of Arizona is the Doorway of the Gods, an unusual stone portal which is said to go through to a different dimension of reality. Okay, so I'm going to take you across to Turkey next for number two, which is the ancient temple of Gobekli Tepe. Now, this is said to be the oldest temple on the entire globe, and it comprises of various circles of massive T-shaped stone pillars. So these stones are engraved with various animals like lions and sheep. And in the centre of the circle are two pillars, which are believed to be by the ancient civilization that lived there, a stargate to a sky world. We're back in the UK for number three, and this is the site of Stonehenge. Built around 5,000 years ago, it's probably the most well recognised of all of the ancient sites. Now, this one still remains a little bit of a mystery as to its purpose. This ancient rock formation is said to sit where 14 ley lines converge, making it an exceptionally powerful portal. Okay, so I'm going to take you to Egypt for the next three sites, surprisingly enough. And the first one is Abydos, which is probably one of the most important sites in Egyptology. The Temple of Seti I hosts some ancient hieroglyphics that depict modern day flying machines, such as a helicopter and a UFO. My next site in Egypt is Abu Ghraib, or the place of the gods. It's claimed to be one of the oldest sites on the planet, and it's a platform made from alabaster, which is an Egyptian crystal which is said to tune to the vibration of the earth. It's said to open the senses for a person to be able to communicate and align with the higher energies of the universe. These higher energies were the gods, so it's really a stargate. My next site in Egypt, of course, is the Great Pyramids of Giza. Now, these pyramids continue to surprise us, don't they? A recent project called Operation Scan Pyramid detected certain thermal anomalies which were on the eastern side of the Great Pyramid of Giza. A difference in temperature could reveal information about the pyramid's structure hidden beneath the surface, but researchers and scientists haven't really fully understood what it is yet. It could be a passage or a tomb or even just a crack in the rock. Okay, let's hop on a flight to Sri Lanka and go and visit the site of Ranmasu Uyana. Here we've got sculpted onto a huge stone wall hidden in between the boulders and the cave systems, a very intricate carving of a star map or a star chart. Directly opposite this star map are four stone chairs. Now the intriguing symbols are said to be a secret code which opens up a stargate so that the recipients can move through time space reality from earth to different places in the universe the next stop on our journey is bolivia we're off to tijuanaco the gateway of the gods could this famous site be the land of the gods tijuanaco city has become one of the most important sites in ancient america now legend has it that sun god viracocha appeared at tijuanaco and made it the place of creation where he 
started to begin humanity. Carved from one huge slab of stone and dated back 14,000 years, this gateway appears to display humans with rectangular helmets. Now, researchers believe its purpose to be astronomical. And it also depicts this sun god with light beams emanating from his head. Next up, we're in Mesopotamia at Eridu, near the Euphrates River. Now, could Eridu be the oldest city in the entire world? This one grew around temples in the southernmost of a conglomerate of Sumerian cities. In Sumerian mythology, Eridu was said to be the home of Enki, and his temple was called Iabzu, and this is where he lived, and it was supposed to be where all life would stem. Author Elizabeth Fay has written many books on the ancient Sumerian kings and gods, and she believes that there is a stargate hidden in the Euphrates River underneath all of the rubble, of the old city of Eridu. My tenth site is in the good old US of A and it's an ancient stone arrangement at Lake Michigan. Now in 2007 this was discovered 40 feet below the surface. So this one is Michigan's equivalent to Stonehenge and it's thought to date back 9,000 years. There's a carving on one of the rocks of a mastodon which was believed to become extinct 10,000 years ago which further confirms its age. Many people believe that this is the remains of a Stargate because it's hosted many mysterious disappearances and has gained the title of the Michigan Triangle. And finally, my 11th site is in Peru and it's Heumasa and it's actually the Gate of the Gods. This one was believed by natives to be literally like a doorway to the land of the gods. And it's two doors close together, which are almost like in a T shape. The larger doorway measures 22 feet by 22 feet and the smaller one is 6.5 feet in the middle of the base. Now legend has it that the larger one was for the gods to return home and the smaller one was for mere mortals to pass through, thus achieving immortality and home amongst the gods. Have you ever visited these ancient sacred sites? If so, which ones and how did you feel when you were there? Please leave a few comments below just to let me know what your thoughts are. And then what I'd like you to do, please, is to subscribe to this channel and click the bell, please, for future notifications. And then watch my next video. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.